Gillian is in court to claim £100 for the cost of a replacement mobile phone after it was damaged by her friend's goat. Defendant Joanne claims that Gillian was responsible for her own possessions, and as she knew the goat's character, she owes nothing. Hello, Joanne. Hello. Gillian. Hello. How are you today, Gillian? I'm fine, thank you. Excellent. Now, Gillian, as I understand it, you volunteer at Joanne's Menagerie, correct? That's correct, yes. Only it's not a menagerie, is it, Joanne? What is it? Um, it's a rescue farm, petting farm. It's we, a rescue, we rescue anim animals. You, you rescue animals? Yes. And you do rescue animals? I, don't, I feel like I've died and woken up in the nativity. <laughs> <laughs> we rescue animals, and as part of their, um, well, their life, really, to earn their keep, we take them out to fates and events and we do a living nativity where we have people dress up and they Understand. come along and help. And who's that over there? It looks that, like my bubba, I'm just wondering. That's, <laughs> that's Faith. That's who? Faith, one of our donkeys. Faith the donkey. It's a perfect <laughs> name. And so you rescue these animals, which is wonderful, and then you use them to recreate biblical scenes. Correct? Yes. Is it yes. just the nativity or do you do sort of other things as well? No, we do. We take them to schools and um, other events as well where um, they just come along and they do, they do lots of things. And you teach them about animals and it gives them an opportunity, especially inner city young people, to get a chance to be exposed to farm animals that they might know nothing about, correct? Yes. They, so, they meet rabbits and everything and there's a lot of children out there that have never even seen a rabbit and we think we have a little rabbit called barney who oh that's out. lovely that's very sweet i was about to say there's lots of people that haven't seen a rabbit but i don't think it's true anymore <laughs> <laughs> nah. barney's furry <laughs> The rabbit. What? The what? rabbit. He's furry. He's a furry <laughs> rabbit. <laughs> and he doesn't take batteries. <laughs> Gillian, you and I have no idea what she's talking about. <laughs> no. <laughs> the Duracell bunny? Sorry? The Duracell bunny? <laughs> That'll be it. Now, <laughs> Gillian, yes. you volunteer as part of this rather wonderful organisation, correct? I do, yes. It's very sweet. I was once in a nativity, fairly similar, so was my brother. My grandma put a tea towel on my brother's head. See? It was a shepherd. It's a marvellous thing. It was the only Jewish shepherd at the time. <laughs> <laughs> there you are. And tell me why you like volunteering. I love being around the animals and the horses and all people that love animals. Now there you are and they're used in various scenes. I presume that's a nativity play. Yeah, that's... that's but what's um, the one in the middle? It's a cow. No, I understand that, but where does that feature in the nativity? <laughs> <laughs> it would have been an ass, but unfortunately <laughs> there were no asses available on that day. <laughs> Now, amongst the various animals that you love, you've got a rather close bond with a particular animal, haven't you? I have. A rather sweet-looking thing called what? Angelica. Angelica's got a short name. What's Angelica's short name? It's Jelly. And Jelly is a? Goat. Excellent. And you love this goat, and she's a very well-behaved goat. Would you agree with me, Joanne? Angelica <laughs> is her own personality she's very deaverish deaverish yes what in what sense i mean who would you compare jelly to she probably could be one of the kardashians Now, I'm not going to guess which one. <laughs>
don't be stupid. Stay and watch the best judgment of moments. And I'm talking. Understood? Don't be a moron. Subscribe to Judge Rinder YouTube channel. Right now, that's an order.